In this video, we will simulate laminar pipe flow. We will create the geometry in ANSYS space claim. We will mesh the geometry in fluent meshing mode. And finally, we will solve the problem and validate our solution. Consider a pipe having length of 3000 millimeter. The pipe diameter is 10 mm and the velocity at the inlet is 0 0.01 meter per second. The density of water and viscosity of water are also given in this problem. With the help of this data, we can find out the Reynolds number which is 99.52. Now the next step is to create the pipe geometry. Now open ANSYS workbench. I am using ANSYS 2022. Go to fluid flow, fluent width and fluent meshing. Double click on it and then double click on the geometry. It will open ANSYS space claim where we will create the geometry of pipe. Go to select new sketch plane button and select YZ plane. Then go press this button of plane view and we will draw a circle having diameter equal to 10 which is the pipe diameter then go to design tab and press this pull button after that select this surface which we want to pull and when we will drag the mouse button and enter a value equal to 3000 which is pipe length now we have created the fluid domain which is inside the pipe let's change its name to fluid domain now we will assign this surface as outlet for this purpose go to this groups button and click this create named selection I want to name it as outlet and then zoom to fit and then I will select this phase and create uh, name this phase as inlet click this button create name selection type inlet now close and see space claim double click on mesh click double precision click start it will open ANSYS in meshing mode so first we will uh, click on import geometry it will import the geometry where the files uh, we have been saving click on import geometry the next task is to add local sizing we do not need any local sizing so there is no by default so we will up click update then the next task is to generate the surface mesh we will keep the default setting and generate the surface mesh the next task is to describe geometry as we have created only the fluid domain so we will select the second option which says that geometry consists of only fluid regions with no voids click on describe geometry the next task is to update boundaries we have defined two boundaries inlet and outlet in the space frame so inlet is velocity inlet which is correct and outlet we will keep it as pressure outlet which is also correct so we will click on update boundaries the next is update regions we have defined that this geometry is fluid domain 
so it is already mentioned that this is a fluid domain so we will click update regions the next step is to add boundary layers and uh, we will keep the default setting and just we will increase the number of layers from 3 to 4 and click add boundary layers in the next step we click on generate the volume mesh uh, from uh, fill with option we will select the tetrahedrals and then we will generate the volume mesh zoom in to see the mesh we can see that there are four boundary layers and rest of the domain is made of tetrahedral elements now click uh, this button switch to solution now ansys fluent is in the solution mode go to this physics button and then click on viscous it will define that our flow is laminar so we click on the laminar flow okay next we will add materials as our problem is with the water so we will select water from this drop down list which is water liquid and click on copy then close we verify that our density and viscosity is matching with the problem statement click close then we will click on cell zones and tell the ansys fluent that our fluid domain is made of water liquid select water liquid in this drop down menu click apply then we will define the boundary conditions click on boundaries our inlet boundary is velocity inlet click on edit inlet velocity is 0 0.01 meter per second click apply and close and our outlet is pressure outlet and the value of pressure at the outlet is zero click apply and then close then, then go to the solution tab we can initialize the solution by using hybrid or standard initialization so we keep the hybrid initialization and click on this initialize button after that enter the number of iteration equal to 200 and then click calculate the solution is converged after 50 iterations and and three equations have been solved by the ansys event solver continuity equation and three momentum equation x velocity y velocity and c velocity all these equations have been converged after 50 iterations now close ansys fluent now double click on results to open ansys post processing please check the box of fluid dopamine and then click on this button contours rename it as pressure contour press ok increase number of contours to 110 and leave rest of the settings at, as it is click, click apply and you can see the maximum pressure is 9.52 pascal at the inlet to have a better view 
go to this view tab and apply scale enter a value 10 here and then click apply so we can have now a better view of the complete pipe you can see that at the inlet the pressure is maximum and it is equal to 9.52 pascals and the total pressure drop along the 3 meter pipe length is 9.52 now we will do some hand calculations to validate our ANSYS results this is the formula for measurement of pressure drop used for laminar flows and turbulent flows as well in this equation F stands for Darcy friction factor and for laminar flows its value can be calculated by using this equation after the calculations uh, we have calculated the pressure drop which is very close to the value of ANSYS solution which was 9.52 pascals so we can say that our hand calculations and ANSYS solution are very close to each other so our ANSYS solution is validated.